everybody welcome back to my channel this is going to be a really quick video on a wig that i forgot i had i purchased this wig from amazon um in it i got a water bottle a little spray bottle and some lashes all the info on where i purchased it is going to be in my description box below so here's the wig it is a 26 inch body wave 13 by 6 lace lace sorry frontal wig with two combs on the side one in the middle one in the back and of course adjustable straps i am going to do the water oh that's how the hairline looked it is pre-plucked but i am going to go in and customize it some so i use bw2 powder 30 volume developer what i did was i mixed it up in the bowl and then i added it um to the container i thought that would like be less clumpy it worked out pretty well you'll see in a minute so yeah that's just me mixing up the developer adding it to my container and I did boil the water I don't know if it made a difference but I poured a little bit in just so I can mix the bleaching cream well and then I went ahead and added the remaining water as you see there now i thought it best i said let me just wash this wig this was a dirty wig if you saw my beauty forever wig review i hate dirty wigs but i washed it some and if you look at that water you'll see it's still dirty but i started dipping because i used 30 volume developer i let this wig sit for 45 minutes if i ever do this again i am going to use a 40 volume but you can't really see it there, but the brown did come out beautiful. So I poured the water out and I washed the wig, but I'm cutting this out because my behind is basically showing in this and I don't like that. So I'm going to wash the wig real good. And um, that's how it looked when it was dry. That was after I plucked it. I thought I filmed plucking it, but I did not. My bad, y'all. And although I didn't film plucking, that is the amount of hair that I did pluck from the unit. So I did a lot of plucking. And like I said, for this to only be my second time plucking, I think I did pretty good. So I'm using the Fantasia heat protectant on the hair. And I'm just basically going to flat iron this hair really quick and um, press down the front. That was the finished look after flat ironing it. it i wasn't happy so i went in and put crimps in it info on this crimper will also be listed below i'm not going to bore y'all with a whole routine of crimping because it's very repetitive so there will be different clips but i will come back to y'all at the end of this video
you notice I didn't crimp the front, the hairline there, because when I do install it, I don't know if I want to do baby hair or not. But y'all, this is the finished look. I think it came out cute. It is ready to be installed whenever I get there. If you like my video, as always, I ask you to give me a couple of thumbs up. But until next week, guys, bye.